see i'm trying to do better y'all i'm trying to do better with like the what do you call it the aesthetics of everything okay but this is a pregnancy update if i'm not mistaken i should be 26 weeks but i kind of stopped counting i'm just taking it a day at a time but i think i'm 26 weeks okay um my next doctor's appointment is in for like two or three more weeks two more weeks so i'll know when i go back they they keep me on track because my mind be gone anyway here's my belly boom boom let's get a different view boom boom i wonder if you guys could see okay and then that is without oh, i hope you guys could see me let's get into the update okay basically the first thing that i have on my list is protein shakes and i think it's because i'm so like i'm going through this thing um if you follow me on instagram i have two different instagrams i have instagram.com uh slim underscore beleza so b-e-l-l-e-z-z-a and that is italian for beauty and then my business page which i'm a little bit more active on and that one is slim styles s-l-i-m-s-t-y-l-e-z and i know when you go on there you're gonna be like i want to follow her that's a lot of hair but no go to my stories that's where it's at <laughs> like we talk we have polls we we do everything on the story so definitely the story but one thing that I've noticed about like pregnancy, this pregnancy and my first pregnancy is that um, being underweight, a lot of people like typically when you get bigger during pregnancy, people don't say anything to you. You're supposed to get bigger. It's the one time in your life you can freely get bigger and you have a pass, right? I feel like people are very insensitive when it comes to smaller women when they're pregnant. A lot of people come to me and they be like, are you sure you're pregnant? Like, especially in the beginning before I actually had like a rounded belly. I'm telling you, I'm 16 weeks. I don't need you to ask me if I'm sure that I'm pregnant or girl, you ain't gained no way. You sure it's a baby in that these insensitive comments. And as a woman, it kind of, it kind of is like a, a punch in the gut because this is like the one time that you're supposed to be able to freely gain in your life and not being able to do that you know you already have to hear from your doctors about weight suggestions eating suggestions or whatever it is and then being underweight is technically high risk you're concerned about okay is my baby going to be measuring small am i going to have to be induced like with reagan i had to be induced they induced me before full term but i end up having her at full term so they induced me at like 36 weeks and then i end up having her at 37 weeks but it's already like I feel inadequate as a mom to not be able to plump it up and give my baby this space to nurture it and so it can move freely and all of that. You don't want nobody pointing out like your thighs all the time. Like at the end of the day, we're all individuals. We all have unique and experiences. You could gain 50 pounds during your pregnancy. I might not gain nothing but 30, but as long as I'm good and my doctor is telling me that I'm fine and that there are no projected complications, don't project your possible complications onto me. Like I'm smaller and it is what it is. I'm carrying a baby beautifully and everything will go great. But pointing out a pregnant woman's size, just don't do it because you never know what underlying things they have going on and how it makes them feel, you know? Speaking of that, I have decided to start drinking protein shakes just because I don't have an appetite a lot of the times and I don't have, I can't afford to not have an appetite. I need to have an appetite because I want my baby to be born plump and you know, all of that good stuff. And I really want to be full term this pregnancy. So, um, the protein shakes aren't nasty. I thought that they would be because I think I tried Ensure a while back. But I don't try them when they're not cold. So this is cold. I just got it out the fridge. I got this one, which is caramel. I also got vanilla and I got strawberries and cream. Um, if you drink it fast, it's not so bad. And it's not even bad. To me, it tastes like a melted milkshake. I'm going to finish the rest. But I just, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't want y'all to think I'm selling you on it. It's not bad, but it's just not like a desirable taste. You know, like maybe if it was a little bit chunkier and like milkshakey, but it's just kind of like a flat milkshake.
also i've been attempting to eat just a little bit healthier so instead of eating greasy type of food i've been trying to stick more to like salads and wraps and i've tried to purchase yogurt but every time i purchase it it just kind of sits in the freezer and goes bad so just a lot of fruits i know my doctor is like don't eat fruit it converts to sugar but i'm gonna eat my fruit because that's something that i know for sure that i'm gonna digest um i'm still a bit, bit nauseous that's like the most difficult part for me because it just kind of comes out the blue it's not like i feel like that all day but i'll be doing hair i'll be fine and then out the blue i'll just kind of get dizzy and need to sit down and then it's typically me needing to go throw up so i'll just go to the bathroom force myself to throw up and get it over with i had consistent nausea for 20 weeks and now i only get it like every blue moon so probably within the last two weeks i've been nauseous and uh like three or four times and then i've actually thrown up only about two or three times this baby right here she moves a lot like it's I can actually feel her like wiggling and moving inside of me like she likes to move you couldn't even snap a clear ultrasound because she was just moving which Reagan did but Reagan just had a little bit more class <laughs> this was she wild she does absolutely whatever she wants to do I've also been focused on moving my business more into like non-service based so although I'm still servicing I've been more taking risks with promoting my products and being more consistent like how I'm usually consistent with selling services is how I've been trying to be with products um actually last week was it was a really good week I um beat my goal like this week I haven't hit my goal at all and it's Wednesday so it's like that's the thing in business you have some good weeks and some bad uh some bad weeks or some weeks that are just totally not what you expect so you expect to make money consistently and then you don't make any money but then on the last day you make everything that you're trying to make so right now I'm just trying to get into making that passive income come in way easier I'm also learning to be more interactive with Reagan. My biggest concern is making sure that she doesn't feel abandoned, excluded, any of those type of emotions. She's way more interactive than she used to be. I used to be able to prop Reagan up and she would just watch TV, but now she, so she wants to be in here under me and learning and in my mouth and all of that. So I'm also trying to be more hands-on with her um spend time taking her in her room to go play and do her thing or just different things to where she feels included um, making sure that she's learning and being exposed to different words and not no baby talk like i'm trying to talk to her like a big girl just you know because that's what we do and lastly about this pregnancy update is all i've been thinking about is labor so I'm going to share my labor story for my first pregnancy soon. It's going to be emotional. Like I want to be transparent with y'all, but I don't, I don't, I don't. It's like me right now. I'm learning this is another video too, but I'm learning to get out of my head about what the fuck y'all think like because it's a lot of people sending me energy that's like well why is she doing this but exceeding those people is people that need to hear this so i'm trying to like mute the, the all of the negative energy that doesn't want me to do what i'm doing or that is sending negativity or whatever and i'm trying to focus on what i'm being led to talk about and what i'm being led to be um to be on and to still not silence myself you know so um I might cry on the labor, the, the my labor story video, but it ain't because I'm seeking attention. It's because I'm being transparent and I don't give a damn about who think that I'm doing this for whatever reason. I know why I'm doing it, okay? Okay, I think about labor a lot. My first um, labor experience was really, really just depressing. It was very depressing. It was very depressing. It was very lonely. It was very not ideal um now i did have her dad there with me when he uh when she actually like popped out but just the process the unhooking myself from machines and being there by myself and not wanting to text anybody or call them to mess with them and then it was people bothering me on social media like trying to bully me like it was just a lot but i oft like often think about that now because i'm just like first 
what happens if I go into labor and Reagan is here with me and I have to go to the hospital and like who who do I call you know what I'm saying like I don't have no support here what if my mom's not here yet what if I have to go through the labor process by myself and nobody you know I don't have you know FaceTime I have that but it's different you know so I think about that often after having a traumatizing like first experience I just really it's like I'm trying to pre-guard my heart from going through that again and um so I'm just trying to kind of clear my mind space and get into a space to where I can be positive and attract or manifest a positive labor experience even if it's not ideal or how I map it out so that is my pregnancy update for now. I think the last time that I checked my weight, I was 116 or 117 pounds. So we'll see this next time, but I am, I'm actually going to finish this while we're on here. Just accountability. Um, whew, it's just sweet definitely doing everything on my end that i can to just make sure that we're full term this time and that i am positive and in a healthy space and it's like so much because it's like i'm going through like this spiritual awakening and then i'm going through like this like i'm getting this urge to just cleanse my body out and to do things differently and i'm not attracted to the same things that i used to be attracted to people that i used to consider support systems i don't even want to talk to them now it's just like so much stuff going on and so much change which is like liberating but at the same time it's like let me offer of this spiritual roller coaster because <laughs> i'm sick of it like healing it's so fun you get to see your progress and everything but it is so painful sometimes or just emotional or whatever it is like every day there's a new emotional um aspect that's drawn out of me and so it's like it's a good thing it's just very uncomfortable let's just say that but yes, that is my pregnancy update and I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned because I'm going to get back to doing this content consistently, being transparent during the process and saying fuck whatever, whatever energy is, wh whoever is sending me this energy of stop or you're not good enough or your story isn't powerful enough or nobody cares about what you have to say because <laughs> I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop not gonna stop i'm not gonna stop do i need to i'm not gonna stop <laughs>